On today's show, we head up to the Central Coast Stadium in Gosford, where the world's talented freestyle motocross riders turn up the outdated dial to 11. It's the Freestyle Kings presented by High Tech Oils, featuring some of the best freestylers in the world, including Australian icon Robbie Madison. Then we delve into the world of FIA sanctioned motor racing and catch up with what's happening with the latest episode of FIA Pure Motorsport. And later in the show, we wind back to 2015 and head to Winton Motor Raceway in Victoria, where we look back on the Trans-Tasman Drifting Warfare from the opening round of the Trans-Tasman Drifting Championship. This is Speed Week. Welcome to Central Coast Stadium, situated in Gosford, New South Wales, just 45 minutes north of Sydney. Normally we see the Central Coast Mariners, but tonight it's home to Freestyle Kings. The action-packed show about to come your way, including world record holder, the daredevil Robbie Madison, X Games gold medalist Rob Olderberg, Taka Hikishane and Jackson Strong and world champion Pat Bowden are all here, including pyrotechnics and fire breathers this weekend. It's Australia's top homegrown FMX show. Hi guys, I'm Robbie Madison, world record holder for the longest jump on a motorcycle ramp to ramp. This is what is awesome about these live events because the crowd get to come here and they see it. It's not on film anymore. You get to see it live, up close and personal, and you get to experience the riders going through the emotions. You can feel the energy in the crowd, so that's what's super cool about these events. My name's Pat Bowden. I'm from the Gold Coast of Australia. and part of the Freestyle Kings. It's hard to really verbalise with words the feelings that it gives you, but when you introduce a live crowd to the mix, like with the emotions that I'm feeling and the other riders are feeling watching their friends do dangerous things and the crowd being so close, we're feeding off their energy, they're feeding off ours, it's amazing. G'day, my name's Jackson Strong. Great to be back here doing live shows. There's nothing like the adrenaline you get and the energy you share with a live crowd. So it makes our job that much funner to do. Let's get it. Hi, my name is Takahigashino. I'm coming from all the way to Japan and California. So I'm gonna show how to ride for freestyle motocross to all the Aussie, mate. So yeah, tonight I'm gonna send it FK show. Check it out. Lance Russell here, we just set the ramps up. It's, I'm actually so excited. I'm about to throw tricks I've never done before. 360s, 360 heel clicker. The crowd is so close to the ramps. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking excited. Let's do this. Hi, my name's Riley Davis. I'm a freestyle motocross rider and so stoked to be back doing shows, live shows with Freestyle King. I get a huge adrenaline rush every time I do a trick. Like when I do a flip, sometimes I don't even remember what I'm doing. Yeah, it's gonna be a great crowd. Can't wait, let's get it. G'day everyone, it's Trav Delph and I'm Jan Anderson from South Australia. We're here at Freestyle Kings Live, ready to uh, rip the drink to bits and looking forward to riding in front of the crowd here at Gosford. We've got an unreal stadium, some nice green grass, Rams are all set up, the airbag, so we're looking to have a real good time and put on a real good show for everyone here. So I reckon Jet's best trick's probably a poo shooter. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he's got in him, but we'll see, we'll see. I reckon he'll come, come off last in the best week too. <laughs> so I've heard. Well, I've just given Trav my uh, little tips and tricks book, so hopefully he gets to read through all the pages of that and he might have a chance of taking the whip comp out. Not a chance. Not a chance. We'll see you later. Is that on your shirt? <laughs> hey, I'm Callum Shaw, freestyle motocross rider. Uh, originally from New Zealand, but landed myself here in Australia. Residing in Queensland, but made the trip down here to Gosford, New South Wales. We've got this next gen ramp here. It's, um, it's a metre taller than the original ramp, so man, you get some hang time off that and I'm just excited to just swing off it tonight. We've got the perfect stadium, so close to um, all the action. 
I can't wait to bust some good tricks and the crowd's going to love it. Coming up, we've got Robbie Madison back on home soil. He's been away for over three years now and his son Cruz Madison joining him here for the Freestyle Kings at Gosford Stadium. It's going to be a huge night of entertainment there. You can see how proud to have his son here this weekend. Then we go to the huge flying best whip competition. You can see the amount of air that these riders get as they come off of the ramp. Then it's the next gen and have a look at the landing ramp on this absolutely huge and the tricks you are going to see are going to be death defying. Then we see Ry Davis with that record attempt. Kenny equal at the huge 40 foot jump there. That's coming up as well and we've got the best trick competition. What will the riders do here? We don't know. They're going to put it all on the line for this huge crowd that's rolled into Gosford Stadium. Hi guys, I'm Robbie Madison. We're here at Central Coast Stadium. I'm giving you a bike review of what is inside the Freestyle Motocross bike that allows me to do the stuff that we do on our bikes. So let's start at the front of the bike. Well, all motorcycles, they have wheels, right? Not just any wheels. KTM, when you buy them stock, has quite a strong wheel. It's quite important to have a strong wheel, but the main objective of having wheels is you want them straight and balanced. So as long as your wheels are straight and balanced, great starting point. But when you put them through what we put them through, they bend out of shape. They start to look like stop signs. So it's important as a rider to always check the spokes, make sure they're straight, make sure they're tight, and the wheel spins without wobbles. Once it starts getting wobbles, you start to feel it in the air, and little things that throw you off like that could be the start of a big issue for a rider. From the wheels, it's the first point of contact. After that, you've got the suspension. I'd say the suspension is probably the most important thing in a freestyle motocross hub is having good suspension. My stuff, I use REP suspension out of the US. Um, but inside of these forks here is standard. So these ones here I have are actually the stock fork. I generally, my, my number one choice is to have the cartridge spring front end. It's a better overall feel. It's what I've gone to because it allows me to have really stiff suspension for a big, a big um, impact, but over the small bumps it can still be quite soft. So you get the best of both worlds with good suspension. After the suspension, point of controls where the bikes, where you're hold, hold, holding onto the bike. You notice these foot levers. These are simply just to aid us when we're doing back foot tricks. Um, some riders use them for right side up tricks too, but what happens is when you have the, when you have the levers up, and when you're upside down, you're, you're arms the levers, you're able to jump off the bike, and get all fancy, and these kind of essentially keep you glued to the motorcycle. So any kind of trick where you're getting away from the bike, these things are like, a seat belt pretty much, a roll cage even. Just moving on from there, gas tank. I mean, I run a pretty standard gas tank, normal levels. Usually run it full just so I know that I'm good. Beyond there, we got the seat. So this is a standard seat. What I do is I un undo the staples, pull the seat cover off. I draw a line on each side, leaving about three inches here. And I just cut a nice smooth arc. What that does, it just takes a bit of the foam out. So when you're doing tricks, you're able to get your seat, you know, your feet across the seat. Um, just allows you to be a little bit more nimble without as many issues of, of getting snagged. Underneath here, probably one of the main changes for freestyle motocross is that you have what's called the, the grab holes, right? So, but I alter the subframe here. You can see some cuts and welds going on there. We've knurled this top piece there. We've tucked it in underneath this frame rail and that just allows you to get a nice good grip on there. But we also have up inside there on these four stroke bikes with the fuel injection, a lot more wiring and stuff like that that's going on. So one of the main changes we do is we hide all the electrical wiring up here in the middle of the seat. So when my hands come in, I'm not snagging anything. There is a battery in there and some cables, regulators and stuff. So it is a little bit busy inside there, but for the most part, we get away with it. The rear shock is obviously part of the suspension package. On the rear shock, I go with a stiffer spring rate. We change the valving in there as well. So just allow it to kind of tighten up the way we want it to. I've got aftermarket foot pegs, you see the big spikes and those things. You definitely want to be stuck to the bike when you're doing upside down, holding on with your feet. For me, some of the tricks I do, when I do a back flip knack, for instance, I'll change into second gear and I hold the gear, the gear up. And so there I'm kind of locked onto the bike. And so I, I do that for the back flips, um, knack knacks, a couple of the other tricks, can can flips, I do that. Last piece, really important for me to make sure my bike feels crisp. And one thing I do with that is put the FMF silencer on and, and exhaust pipe. 
So it's a complete package with the FMF pipe and silencer. It's, it's a little bit shorter. The factory edition KTM's come out with this standard. So it's a great upgrade. Even the factory acknowledge it because they have it part of their package. So the final piece of the tools that I use and I really rely upon is this steering stabiliser. So it sits right here underneath the handlebars. And this little bad boy here allows me to tighten up how easy it is to move the handlebars. So you see there on setting one, it's really easy. You go to setting eight and it's pretty much locked on. So when you see guys doing backflips, taking the hands off, usually they're relying upon a steering stabiliser and we just have like a little tool on there to, to just tighten it up on the fly. So that's my freestyle motocross bike. I'm Robbie Madison and it's time to fly. Madison. Coming out now, and look at the crowd, they're on the edge of their seat. Robbie Madison back in Australia. I'm Matt Kavanagh, and alongside me, JT. Look at the excitement out there. You can see the faces ready to go, because it's Robbie wow, Madison. look at it. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Here we are, Robbie Madison for our first jump. Listen, look at the old school trick there, just grabbing the back of the seat, as they call a bit of a heart attack, sort of looking, looking straight ahead as we uh, moved out to the replay. You can just see there, he's just taking his time, just getting a little bit familiar, I suppose, with the venue there, but look how much air he makes. Just that double grab, a nice old school with a bit of an indie twist. Looking at that, I missed that. Good to see the replay. He's been doing this for so many years, all over the world, breaking so many records, so many first time attempts and tricks that people have never seen. And he's back here in Australia just to warm us up in the crowd. You can hear the excitement building in the background. Here he goes again. Jump number two, We're going to heading off to the 75 foot mark. Bit of an indie, twisting the bike out to the side. Look at that airbag just taking it nice and easy. Airbags now making it so much better for the riders. Nice and soft so they can continue to do tricks one after the other. There you go, he just looks so comfortable on the bike, doesn't he? He's done this so many times. and. Look at the amount of air. He's right up near the lights in that one. It's great there, as you can see in the background. This beautiful picturesque location there. Lands it nicely at the top of the ramp as well. That Indy just tweaking it all the way out. Look at that, both legs, one out to the other, almost like the splits in midair. Takes a lot of gymnastic, I suppose, core body strength to make this happen, and here he goes. Oh, there it is, upside down, one foot off. Nice and easy, making it look so easy. That, that used to be a trick that uh, finished a show. Now it's pretty much, you know, if it's not in the show then, well, that started the show, then it's really not a show. And he's up on the back wheel as well, saluting the crowd as he goes by. Check out the replay, the slow motion. It's not just a back look there, he gets the leg over. He was talking about this in his piece before, how that seat comes down a little bit, makes a little bit of room so he doesn't grab that boot on the way back. It's terrible if that goes wrong, but he's done it. He and makes it look foot so hook. easily. And then the help of the little foot hook there in underneath. If you guys are close enough to see the bikes in the pits, have a look at that foot hook just on the top of their toe just to stop that foot from slipping off, making them nice and safe in the air. And no surprise that we can see the crowd in the background cheering him on. But one of the big things here is though he's got his son Cruz here this weekend. And mate, he, he is getting right into this Freestyle Kings. And how did he get into it? Let's find out. My name is Cruz Madison, I'm 11 years old and my dad's Robin Madison. He's my hero. I just wanted to be like him more, so I started on drug bikes. I started on freestyle when I was 10. I started riding freestyle bikes in my front yard in Temecula, California. Well, this is a KDM 65. It goes very fast. My bike, I love it. Very nervous, but I'd rather be more nervous in practice than at the actual show. When I'm at the start of the ramp, I think, hopefully I'm gonna make it. He said, just stay calm, you know what you need to do. Count your gears, you know your speed. Go out there and have fun. I wanna backflip a 75 foot ramp, and I wanna jump further than my dad. That's longest jump, highest jump, most backflips on a razor, and first motorcycle that went on water. I'm gonna tell the crowd that I'm about to put on an amazing show, a freestyle king show, if you ask me. Cruise 
Madison. How great to see Cruz Madison now. He's been with his dad. He's got all the equipment at home. Is it any surprise that he's taken on exactly what his dad does and gone in this freestyle kick? Well, when you've got a front yard like they have, you'd, uh, you'd definitely expect to uh, be playing out there with your dad. Look at this. How cool is this? Modern day Evil Knievel and his son riding behind him. What a biggest buzz ever. Look, just a little bit of a warm up jump there. Of course, dad just setting the tone, getting the pace right so Cruz knows how fast he needs to approach that ramp. Now, again, look at the showmanship. He really is a chip off the old block, isn't he? Check this out in slow motion. Just getting their bearings there, setting the speed up, make sure he can get off the ramp, make it to that landing point. Does it nicely as well. He hasn't been doing it all that long either. So to be very new to this, I suppose you've grown up around it, you know what to expect. You're used to being in these huge crowds where your dad's been there entertaining everybody. You've got to be a little bit more relaxed, I suppose, than the average kid. Here we go, though, first solo jump. Single run, have a look at it now. Straight off the Aussie comp. Clearing that red marker on the top of the airbag nice and clean. Look at the distance he's made there too. This is only a small bike. I mean, what are we talking in, in comparison there to bike sizes compared to his dad's bike? Well, you're looking, he'd, he'd be running a, uh, a 60cc little wheels. So basically in comparison, you know, like a little fast 50, but a two-stroke one you see by the expansion chamber on the bike there. And uh, his dad would be on a 450 or... A, and so comparison there in, in CC is quite a lot, but uh, he's, he's making it look ever so easy. Here we go again. He's going to go again for the crowd here. We hold our breath. Look at that. Makes it land again. Just doing this so smoothly. Do you think it's like he's been doing this for years? Uh, look at the positioning on the bike, you know, straight over the front. Look at that. Heading over to the crowd now. Look at that. Bit of showmanship. Yeah, he's got the goggles off. And out to the crowd. Quick, catch him. There we go. Someone ends up with Lucky Cruz Madison's goggles here and we check out the slow motion replay once again launches up that ramp nicely sets himself up for the landing you see twisting the throttle there it's a nice smooth landing as well gives it a twist gets it ready prepared down he comes just straight over nose up, just so you know when the, that little twist there you'll see it with the puff of smoke just bringing that nose up a little bit just to make sure it does a nose dive so when he comes down on that airbag nice and soft but Wow, big future. All those little techniques that his dad has taught him. Robbie Madison there and Cruz Madison now putting that show on for the crowd. Look, the fist pumps. High, oh, side fives to all the kids there as well, doing everything for the crowd here at Gosford Stadium. They have packed it in the house here for this phenomenal show they're putting on, all thanks to High Tech Oils. We've got so much more coming your way here as well, including the biggest whip competition. And, of course, we've got our fire-breathing action for the crowd. Welcome back to the Freestyle Kings here at Central Coast Stadium in Gosford. We have so much more entertainment coming your way and some big competitions. Can't wait to see the crowd on the edge of their seats here this afternoon. Right now, though, we're going to catch up with Rod Adelberg. Hey, I'm Rob Adelberg. I'm from Benalla in Victoria, and I'm part of the Freestyle Kings. Yeah, generally I stick to the 75 foot ramp. It's a standard ramp that we compete and ride shows on all around the world. So I, I generally stay to that one. Uh, the other ramps we have here tonight, the next generation ramp, for instance, it's a new uh, ramp that is only, yeah, it's very fresh to our sport. It's a lot steeper, it's a lot taller, and the boys go a lot higher on it. You don't really see that in competition. So for me, I haven't focused on it too much. So I let the other boys play with that one. And then the super kicker is mainly used for double backflips and I don't really like double backflips so I, I stay away from that one as well. So another reason I stick to the 75 foot comp ramp is because I've learned to do a front flip on it and there's only two other people that can consistently do front flips in the world and they're a very high scoring trick and I put a lot of my focus and energy into that. So tonight I'll do a front flip in best trick and I'll try depending on the rotation, but I'd like to do a no-hand front flip. It's been one of the best tricks going around for a few years now, and that's what I won my gold medal with, so I'd like to do that for the, the fans here in Gosford. Yeah, so the front flip for me is my ultimate trick, and it's everything's totally different to a normal jump and a backflip jump, so everything you've learned with those techniques, out the window. You've got to hit the jump pretty fast, you've got to throw all your weight over the front of the bike, and then there's a certain point where you've got to grab both brakes and stop the wheels, 
spinning, and then hopefully that puts you into a front flip rotation. In freestyle motocross, our biggest competition is X Games, and in 2018, I was the most decorated X Games athlete in a 12-month period. So over every sport that's in X Games, I'd won the most medals in 12 months. It's kind of like where I cut my teeth and what I enjoy doing the most. It's a lot, very high pressure, and I'm very competitive, so I really enjoy it. Well, Freestyle Kings brings a really good show to the yeah, to the crowds, and. I make a little bit of a competition in here with amongst the boys as well. And it's in Australia. I like to perform for my like, you know, Australian fans and at home here with plenty of friends and family come and watch. So to me this is more relaxing, more of a party, a friendly vibe and more fun. Where competition is yeah, a bit higher risk, a bit higher reward, yeah. 2021 X Games, I was going there super confident. I was sure with my perfect run I was gonna go golden freestyle, golden best trick and yeah, come to the freestyle, we didn't have much practice and I'd fumbled a few times and I ended up getting a bronze medal, which isn't too bad. And then in best trick, yeah, I did my no hand front flip, which has been the best trick going around for a couple of years now. And I landed super clean and I managed to get the gold there. So all in all, it was a good weekend, but I'm still yet to go the double gold. So we'll go double gold 2022. Best Earthworks. Capture the crown, best whip. Well, it's time to get some big air and get the whip competition underway. I'm Mac Avenue, JT. What does it take for him to do these phenomenal whips? One would say a little bit less in the helmet, I suppose, but no, really, truly, this comes from skill of uh, riding a bike as second nature. As some would say the gap between your legs was made for a dirt bike, and this is what uh, skill's all about when it comes to doing a whip. It looks like Matto, first one out for the first run for best whip. Matto, just a bit of a turn down whip, as they call it. So you'll see there the bike sort of nose up, the bike's flattening out before it does its whip. So they call it a bit of a turn down whip bringing the bike on the side and turning it down. And again, just for the rip on the return run there, onto the airbag, nice and clean. He looks so comfortable out there once again. He's egg egging the crowd on to get more noise out of him. How big can he go on this one? Here we go, he gets up to the ramp. Oh, a bit of an opposite there. Just went from left to right. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a washed out whip to the right hand side, trying to get the extra points for variation there. We have a look at the angle from underneath. He gets the bike really soft. His first jump there comes down. And to get the bike all that way around, to turn it that far around and get it back, the amount of body strength, the internal, you know, central body strength that must take to pull the bike back. That's right. And a lot of control on the bike, as we've said earlier. You see the little puffs come out the back of them. You need that little bit of acceleration to get that bike to do as it's told. Helps you in the air as well as, yeah, brute body strength as well. well he's, pretty, happy. he's pretty happy with that too. Look at the smile on his face here from Robbie Madison there, the best whip competition. Here we go, Trav Gelf now. Trav can throw it down onto two stroke. Look at that, nice big whip looking back. Front wheel basically facing back towards the ramp. Bit of an onboard shot. Here we go, he's gonna come on the return ramp now. How big is it gonna be? That was some huge air that time. How high can he go this time? Here we go, look at that, that bike just turning itself down. Wow. I'm really loving that footage, aren't we, of the front tyres that come up the ramp with that pace. It's got to be pretty adrenaline pumping if you're on the bike. One more to go. Trav. No, oh, turning around even further this time. They're really starting to lay it down more and more, isn't it? When Robbie Madison comes out, you think, you know, this guy's won so many gold medals. What can I do to just get one up on him? These young blokes, you know, Travi only about 20 years old. Plenty of uh, nice and nimble young fella there against the old dog Matto. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We watch this in slow motion. Oh, gets the back wheel right up oh, above the horizontal there and has to pull the bike back down. These big ramps making it a little bit easier, I suppose, in the modern day there to land. Just gets it back, twists the front around and right on the edge, aren't they? Every time they perform these huge whips. And there he is in front of the crowd. You can see the big smiles everyone watches on. Pat Bowden now about to come out. Oh, wow. Pat does love to throw a whip on the two-stroke as well. Look at that signature series. Some call him the... Uh he like, rides like a uh, PlayStation game, they reckon. Just how, how clean and insane his riding is. Well, they do say he is silky smooth when he's out there doing these tricks. 
And once again, you just don't, you wouldn't expect him to fall off at all, will you? He just lands him. It's like he's stuck with glue when he comes down. Even that then on the, that on the return run, a little bit of a rodeo style, grab the back back of the bike as he comes for that whip. He's excited about that. I can't wait to see the replay here because that back wheel goes so, so high. Look at this. Gets it well above, almost all the way around there. And he just looks so at home on that bike. Look at that left leg just pushing it forward to try and bring the nose of the bike back around. And look, the hands go in front of him. He knows. He knows they love him here at Gosford Stadium. Look at that. Pat Bowden doing a fantastic job out there in the biggest whip competition. Some would say milk in the crowd a little bit there. Lance Russell running the one of the only few on a four-stroke. Straight into it. Big banger there for the turndown whip. He'll line himself up now for the second jump. Oh, no. <laughs> no, he's just giving it a wiggle for the crowd. Oh, it just gives it a big wiggle in the back there. And we're going to see a whip this time. That's what we want to know. We're going to see a whip on this one. There we go. Nice and clean. Let's have a look at the replay on that one. That was nice and deep. One would say one of the bigger whips so far. We look at it in slow motion there. Oh, it's the opposite way too to what we've seen from the other riders as well. Facing the crowd, like you imagine seeing that. So many people, and you're looking them face to face in mid air. We see there the big wiggle there. He, he loves it, really. Yeah, it's got a lot of style to it, doesn't it, for the crowd? Love this view too from underneath. You really get a sense of how high in the air they are at the moment. The light in the background. Imagine the smile he's got under there. You can see it now. He's taking the goggles off. A huge smile. You can tell by them eyes, grin on the eyes there. Jet Anderson, another one of the young blokes that's uh, nice, nimble and fit, ready to throw down some big whips. I've seen this kid up quite a few times. Oh, there it is. Very old school whip for a young fella, that one. Did you see that, that two stroke? You can hear it revet itself as it turns around. I can't believe it. he almost did 180 degrees. He's almost got that all the way around. How big is he going to go on this one? Oh, a bit of a, bit of a scrub style whip there. Just throwing one leg out to the other leg. He's really changed it up for the crowd. He's shown that he can do all sorts of different techniques. You can see all the riders there in the background. Jacko and Adelberg there, egging him on. There it is. Look at that. Didn't take much egging on to turn that whip all the way around. Jeez. The judging's going to be tough on this one. Yeah, what are we going to be looking for? That is the question. When we look at, talk about best whip, how do, how do we define between the different styles we've seen out there? Like that there. Look at that takeoff. That is coming back towards us. That was facing back nearly knocking the drone out of the road there. Look at this whip from the other angle. This is, oh, really this is shows hard. the angle, isn't it, from underneath how far around he's actually got that bike. He's almost turned around. you think he could land backwards. Yeah. Get a nice onboard shot here to get a bit of perspective. Look at that. That's facing all the way back. Jeez, that's going to be a hard one to, uh, to go past, I think. Jet Anderson. Well, I'm sure that's what the crowd are thinking as well. That one's going to be extremely hard to beat. And you can see him riding back down and joining the other riders down there. The best whip competition. And Jed Anderson gets the win and no surprise after what we just saw. Yeah, look at that. Picked it straight away. We'll hand out these huge checks now. And the crowd will cheer them on here. It's great to have this show back here. Central Coast Stadium here in Gosford there. And our winner, Jed Anderson. Best whip competition here this weekend and the tricks are about to get even bigger with next gen my name is pat bowden i'm 28 years old i'm from the gold coast and i'm part of the freestyle kings this ramp behind me the blue one the big one um, it's a next gen ramp so this is the first time that we've had it in the show and I don't know too much about it apart from it's huge. I don't know the specs or anything. It's about a metre higher, so I think it's about three and a half metres higher. And it throws me about 60 feet in the, in the sky. It's basically as close as you can get to riding in a video game whilst being in real life. That's what it feels like for me anyway, just the amount of height that you get when you're hanging off it upside down. I think that this should be the next standard ramp in freestyle motocross. For the last 10, 15 years, freestyle motocross has had a standard ramp. It's a, a nine metre radius, it's 2.7 metres high, and we've learnt basically from the upright tricks like heel clickers back in the day to backflip rock solids now. That's 
the whole progression of 15 years of freestyle motocross has been off this one ramp, which is the one next to the big one. And this new ramp, actually Levi Sherwood, um, professional freestyle motocross rider, he designed it and he's able to double flip it, front flips, I've seen get thrown off it. So basically you, you have, you can do every single trick in, in freestyle motocross off this one ramp, but it's only just come onto the scene, so there's not too many people who can hit it, which is why it's such a special thing in the show tonight. To be honest, I haven't had much practice on it. I actually had one of these ramps built and I have it out at my compound, but I've only hit it one time, like one day. So, I mean, I knew what to expect somewhat while hitting it, but I managed to, within the first few jumps, do all my big tricks. But I've had a lot of experience in the past, like jumping new different style ramps. So this is right up my alley. And um, yeah, I, I, I highly enjoy it. I recommend it to all the boys, but no one wanted to hit it. I don't know why. I'm gonna start off just by hitting it straight, just show, show everyone like, how high you go, and from there I might do a few upright tricks, but by the end of the segment, I'll be doing the biggest tricks in the world. One of the tricks is called a cliffhanger flip. It's where I hang off the handlebars by my feet, completely stretched back. It's actually a cross step, a cross step flip. So I'll be like fully stretched back like that, looking down at the ground, holding it for a few seconds. Um, there's another one, it's called a double grab heart attack flip. And that trick actually won me, I think, silver place in the Nitro World Games a few years ago. So it's where you backflip the bike and grab the seat with both hands and then hang underneath the bike looking at the ground and then jump back to the bars and like spin the bike around. That's quite cool. Yeah, for sure. Like I fear for my safety because I've had a lot of serious injuries throughout my career, but I personally feel like I'm at a level in my career where I've experienced a lot and I've put myself in a lot of dangerous situations, but I've figured out a way to like navigate these really dangerous situations safely. And in my mind, it's just about being like 100% present in the moment and with your body. Like if you know where your arms and your legs and your feet are at all times, then there's not really any reason why you should crash. That's what I've sort of come up with in my mind. And for the most part, it's true. Like you can, for the 90, I feel like 90% of the time, if you're 100% focused, then you shouldn't crash, you know? And in my experience, when I crash, it's because I'm mentally fatigued or tired or make a tiny mistake or something like that. So that with a lot of, a lot of years of practice, obviously. Next Gen. Great to hear from the legendary Pat Bowden there about the Next Gen Rams. Imagine what he is going to pull out for this one. We've seen how silky smooth he's been, and they're, they're fired up now, the riders, JT. It is. Callum Shaw, first off the Next Gen. Oh, just feeling the air up there so much further up than our normal ramps. That's uh, normally 35 foot, as Pat would have told you. Now we're sending it way up into the top of the grandstand. Look at that. They're just floating up. They're just feeling it. It's a whole different world up that far. We're just talking to air traffic control for a moment, I think. And just getting a feel for the wind as well, because they are going to push the riders around when they start taking that huge air. It is. just There's so much more hang time, but also, same, there's so much more room to move off that down ramp if you get blown off on your, uh, on your path through the air. Well, we say they're the daredevils when it comes to motocross, aren't they, as they go up, these freestyle kings, and when we get them higher and higher, we start to put more and more risk into it. So they're going to pull some huge tricks off here in Next Gen because it is a competition. We are looking for the wildest trick that they are going to do there, and they're just starting to feel their way. Callum Shaw, here it is. There we go. Ruler style, just getting himself. Could have dropped the bike a little bit more. Might be a bit on points there for him. Pat Bowden now coming in behind him off the Next Gen. Pat says, you can hang by your feet. I can hang even more. Basically a Christ air, as they call it, hanging the feet off the bars, arms right out wide. A little bit of a take on, a bit of a hands to a feet, a bit of a up and down there from each rider. Here we go, that's that rule of and in slow motion, you can see how much he actually gets the body vertical and the bike drops away, and manages to pull that back. Pat Bowden there, just gets the feet hooked under. Look, the hands are off for so long, and I suppose, and the more you slow it down, you realise how much time they are actually spending in the air. It must feel like an eternity when you're up there. I reckon he was half looking at that replay. He was thinking about a no-handed lander. On Here we go, huge oh. backflip. Have a look at that in the replay. Nice heel clicker, getting his body way over the front of the bike. What's Pat got now? Pat says, I'm going to do a bit of a cross there upside down. Did you see that? <laughs> he does it right way up. And now, we get back to Callum. The heel clicker, as they call it. Right over the front of the bike. Nice and tidy landing. Look at this from another angle. 
and you really need the next gen ramp to make these style of tricks happen as well you need that amount of time in the air here we go you see him gets the heels under the bars there sets himself up the extension and the hang time there it's like he was nearly having a bit of a holiday could have had a drink while he was up there that hang time is so big they're so relaxed when they come down here we go we go again Wow, it's like that quick there. I have to go back to the replays on that one. Callum Shaw, Pat Bowden in for the next run. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Let's himself get right away from the bike, just holding it on there with one arm. We'll go back to the replays now. Full no-handed all the way around. Not looking, didn't put his head forward at all. Basically looked at the bars all the way around. So basically like doing a flip with your eyes closed there. Look at that. Doesn't even look for the landing at all. Just keeping his head straight. Pat now looking for that uh, one-handed heart. One hand on the handlebars, one hand on the seat and doing it upside down. Look at the crowd in the background. He's almost level with the stadium roof here in Gosford. And when we speed it back up into full motion there, that is just amazing what they can do on these bikes. Callum Shaw. Oh. Cliff, hang up. Well, no, sorry. Kiss of death. Sorry, getting you mixed up there. KOD is that was. Looking his head over the bars. Oh, Pat, double grab. What do you do when you've let go of the bike, basically? You're hoping that you can grab onto it, and then you've still got to let the bike rotate around. You don't have that throttle control anymore to be able to speed the bike up or slow it down in that backflip. These are the best, two of the best riders in the business doing tricks that you would only see you know, on TV. Now you get to see them here live at a show. This is insane. All the Freestyle Kings bringing all the action on the next gen ramp right now. As you can see the replays there. Pat Bowden, he is silky smooth as they describe him, isn't he? Let's go over here in slow motion, just hanging onto the back of the bike in mid air as it comes around, manages to catch back up with the bike. Freestyle Kings brought to you by High Tech Oils. We're going to take a short break, but still to come, a world record attempt. Well, we've seen some absolutely huge air in the next gen ramp. We've seen the biggest whip. So many more things still to come here at the Freestyle Kings as the excitement builds out there in the crowd at Central Coast Stadium in Gosford. But right now, though, let's catch up with the fire freaks who are here putting on a show for the crowd. Fire freaks.
Rob. Well, one of the youngest riders in the field now. Ry Davis is going to come out here and attempt something that, well, he's got his idol there alongside of him. Can he make this happen, JT? I well, know. Jackson Strong, can he get knocked off the perch or equal what he has done when he was a young bloke? To who, who will be the one to go the furthest at their age? So 16, well, now 15 years old, about to go 45 foot back to it. He's only done it to the pit, so he's never done it actually to a uh, to a landing setup, let alone in a live show. So the first time in front of a live crowd, the first time on this landing ramp, Ryan Davis, can he do it? Here we go. Get behind him. Hold your breath. Whoa. There we go. He does it. 45-foot backflip, and all the riders are running over right now to congratulate him. What a moment for this young rider. Oh, this is what the sport's all about. Look at it. All these idols there. Even his dad jumping in there as well. Jacko sitting back, holding his head going, oh, I think I'm losing my title as, uh, as one of the record holders. Look at Ryan going all the way to the top of the airbag lander. Oh, look, he wants the crowd. He's hearing it. He's so pumped up about that. He's been practicing this for months and months, but never in front of a live crowd and never to the ramp. Let's have a look at this replay. Look at that. Pulls back, puts his body over the front of the bike. Nice and clean. Look at that. Have a look from the other angle now as he comes round and over. We'll get a front look on that uh, down ramp. Here we go. Look at that. Nice and clean. Textbook there. The heart would have to be pumping, wouldn't it? Like this attempt, the live crowd, the fire is going. He manages to hold it all together there. Does everything textbook. Everything that he has been practicing has now been put into place and he manages to match that 45-foot record. Nothing matches that feeling the first time you stomp that one to the, uh, to the hard landers. And how great is it? Not only is Jackson Strong over there that he's matched the record with, Robbie Madison coming in there, his dad, so many of the other riders there enjoying the moment with him. And now he's still running around the crowd, super pumped up. But right now, let's change our attention over to Jackson Strong, who's going to run us through the super kicker. G'day, my name's Jackson Strong. I'm from Lockhart, New South Wales, Australia. And I'm a freestyle motocross rider. So tonight in the show, I'll be riding the Super Kicker. It's a little bit steeper than the standard ramp. It's from standard ramp, we jumps about 46 degrees. This one's up, jacked up, tighter radius to about 60 degrees. So it gives us a little more hang time. So hopefully I'll be able to get a double flip swinging around in tonight's show. The Super Kicker is just a lot steeper than the standard kicker. So it gives you a little more hang time. It's a closer, closer gap, but shoots you up a lot higher. Make it easier to rotate flip. It's called the Super Kicker. You get extra, extra height, height for free. So tonight, it's my first show on the 450. I've traditionally been a 252 stroke guy, and it's my first show on the 450. 450's hopefully a little more suited to doing double backflips. So tonight, my priority is coming out with a double flip. A double flip is coming in, you need the ramp to do it to start with. It's got to be a little steeper than our standard ramp. I come in as slow as I can, I regrip my throttle so I'm sure I can have full gas on the top of the lip. Lean forwards as far as I can to the top of the lip. Wait for the opportune moment, hang on for two. I don't look at the tricks as being dangerous, it's just what I've done since I was a kid. So it's more enthusiastic about learning a new trick. Sure, sure we get scared and it's... Uh, there's times to be nervous, but that's what makes it fun. That, that's what makes it exciting. That's why we do it. I had a couple jumps of the super kicker in practice. It felt pretty good, so hopefully tonight I can get some, some double backflips out flawlessly. Ozzy Adrenaline capture the crown best trick. We've seen so many death-defying tricks here today, and we've seen exactly what these riders can do, but we're given the opportunity now to really show the crowd something different. The best trick competition is coming up, and JT, what can we expect? Oh, this, I would say this is my favorite, that's for sure. Best trick is where it is, lay it all on the line. This is it, who's gonna be crowned the king of best trick? Look at Chucky Norris, one of the old school lads. Chucky can throw him down, nice, look at that. Bit of a stripper to one-handed lander. Yeah, we look back at that on the replay, it was very fast. Nice and clean, kick to Chuck, very clean rider. Well, he's been doing it for many, many years, hasn't he? A lot of experience there and he wants to risk it here. Now we'll look at it in slow motion. 
Gets that foot over, doesn't he? Gets the hand off as well. Straight over the top of the tank. And then flicking it back off the side as well. There's not a lot of time for all that movement in the body, is there? He's really had to concentrate on that. Thank God for the replays on this one. Nice and clean, Chuck. Well, we are, we are looking for the best trick, and you can see the crowd are excited in the background there, so they like what they see. What can Jed Anderson bring? Oh, we've seen him in best whip now. Oh, KOD flip. Look at that. He was arms nice and tucked there, trying to get that head as close to the front guard as he can. That looked super technical. Going to pull back down the ramp. Here it is. Kevin had, there it is. Trying to go right close to that front guard. That was full extension. All scorpioned up with the legs. That was, that's going to be a tough one to beat. Mate, it's not just about the crowd reaction. We've actually got these freestyle king guys. We've got people judging them there that know exactly what they're looking for. So those little technical details might get in the wind. But I'm sure the crowd in the background, that's got to be a majority. Pat Bowden, though. Yeah, here we go. What is it going to be? Oh, look at that. Going almost to the recliner, but sticking the legs all the way out the front. So basically laying it back. There was about three tricks in one there. Lazy boy, recliner, Christ there. It was all in the one. Look at that. Hooking the feet right over the front of the bike. Wow. Stretching himself all the way. And then not forgetting that is upside down. Again. He just doesn't look like he's stressed about any movement in that trick either. It's, he's won with the bike right now, and you see the amount of air. He's up in the second tier of the stadium. He gets the bike flipped over nicely as well, lands it back on both wheels. You can just watch this all day, replay after replay. Look at that. Nice and clean, Pat Bowden. And yeah, pulls that down. Will it be enough, though, in the best trick? We're going to have to find out because Lance Russell, he's up next. Another one, Lance Russell. Nice OG rider. Rides every single day that he can. Oh, 360. Oh, bouncing off the bag. Wow. Thank God for the airbags. I go on about it long and hard. This is the next level of riding, and you need the next level of comfort just in case it goes wrong. Well, if he pulls this trick off, what's the technicality on this one? Because that was a huge... Huge trick. A 360 basically looking at, you know, sort of a flip that, that basically tweaks itself out into that, that 360 motion. If we can get a bit of a replay on where it comes before it goes wrong to show you how much he is out of shape in the air. Like, it, it is a very technical trick and a very cool trick. The first time I've seen it, I was like, how do you do that? Here we go. We're going to see it in slow motion now. Run us through this one, JT, because he almost lands it. He does. Look, he's tweaking the bike out there. He's got the leg over the top into a basically going for a heel clicker 360 and it just, just not quite enough air for him there at the end. He's left it way to the late and it's just nosed itself in, but luckily bouncing off. Oh, no. the, the air ramp's doing their job, aren't oh. they, at the moment? And the crowd, well, they hold their breath for a moment there, but he's all A-OK. -okay. He stands up there. Look at that. Heel clicker just folds up just enough to not get himself hurt. That's... Well, you've got to lay it on the line if you want to win the best trick. It is exactly what is in the name. Best is what we are looking for, and they are laying it all on the line here, the Freestyle Kings riders. Oh, Tucker, all the way from the US. What an insane rider. Oh! Tacker reaching back to the double grab flip. And I noticed he's just gone past that top landing point there to make that stick, hasn't he? He's had to go a little bit further. We'll have a look in the replay. Look at that. Grabs one hand, two hands, and let's go at the same time. Wow. <laughs> that, is, that is the best trick in the book in my bag. I, I just can't stop watching that trick. It's one of the most technical there is. And as you said, going long to make sure he had enough hang time to get back on that bike. Look at that. Grabs it, pulls himself back onto the handlebars, hooks the feet back in. Nice safe landing. You can see there, he shows a bit of emotion there as he lands. He knows he's landed that one and definitely put his mark there with the crowd and the judges here. Robbie Adelberg, what's it going to be? He likes to go frontward over. There it is. Whoa. Nice and clean front flip. Wasn't worried about that at any moment throughout that one. You, you picked it straight away. You knew exactly what was going to go to the go-to because we don't see too many people try the front flip. No, it's, it's, there's only a selected few that can consistently run a flip and run a forward flip as well, front flip. And look at that, no hands as well. Looking on the replay, I missed that on the first. But wow, look at this angle here. Adelberg all the way, hands off, straight around onto the back tyre. 
Oh, he's, he's looking for the win, isn't he? He is going for the win. That was dialed. Did you see that? Straight past the red mark. He had that perfect. I just can't believe how much air time they get in front of the crowd here at Gosford Stadium at Freestyle Kings. Jackson Strong Jackson now. Strong. He's just he's having a look watch. for a moment, isn't he? Slows it down. Just getting a feel for it. He's on that super kicker. Am I thinking what I'm thinking here for this sort of trick to go that high? That close? Ooh. Well, he's going past the crowd. Come on, pump him up. They can, you can hear him there. It's got to get the excitement building if you're going to take on this huge attempt. Best trick. But it looks like Jacko doesn't want to go home without the, uh, the silverware, I think. He's going to push this one all the way. I'm waiting. He's leaning over. One, two. Yes, double backflip from Jackson Strong. Wow. Not one, but two backflips, and the crowd are going wild in the background. Double backflip here from Jackson Strong, and will that be enough to get him the win in best trick? Look at that nice slow-mo short run. Pulls hard at the start of the round, getting that body over. Watch him shift his body back to the back of the bike again for the second round. Hard on the limiter for the bike. You can see the puffs of smoke out of it. Just pulling it around. And then stomping the landing. Perfect. There's that moment after the first rotation, isn't there, when he does a backflip, where you wait for a moment just to make sure it comes over. But that super kicker really giving him a bit more height there. <laughs> oh, what a view from the front of the bike. It happens so quickly. Yeah, that camera angle there looked like something that somebody threw a GoPro in the air and just spun around and around. Wow. Robbie Madison back the boys on the back. And of course, Jackson Strong, no surprise there. A double backflip will get the win and best trick here tonight in front of this fantastic crowd. It's been an action packed night of freestyle motocross entertainment here at Central Coast Stadium in Gosford with some huge tricks, a world record attempt, and of course, some of the biggest air we have seen here in Australia. And of course, if you want to catch the next Freestyle King show, go to www.freestylekingsentertainment.com to find out when they're coming near to you.